Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Let's take a look at some Miyuki seed beads. I've talked about Toho seed beads and seed beads in general, but I thought it would be good to focus on Miyuki seed beads because they are really nice uh, Japanese seed beads. Um, and we do have quite a few options for these. And Miyuki Delicas are really popular. A lot of patterns that are out there, um, especially seed bead patterns, will come with color suggestions or the colors that the designer used. Um, Miyuki Delicas are a really popular option. So they're kind of like the standard for a lot of patterns out there. So um, I thought it would be good to kind of take a look at all of the different Miyuki seed beads that we have. So we've got um, your classic rounds and we've got those in a, in a few different sizes. We've got the six aughts and you can see that those are pretty big. So those are the six aught rounds. We've got eight aught rounds too. I really like the colors of these eight dot rounds. So those are a little smaller. And um, just keep in mind that seed bead sizes, the bigger the number, the smaller the bead. So 11 aught is next. So you're just going down in size. <laughs> and then the smallest 15 aught. These are very bright uh, neon pink beads. Let's see if I can pick one up so we can kind of just compare the sizes. Oh, I had one and it jumped off. Those smaller beads are harder to catch sometimes. So, so yeah, you can see how small that is. Look at that. So small. So those are um, our different sizes of the uh, round beads. So those are just classic rounds. Great for seed bead fringe, peyote stitch, all kinds of different uh, projects bead uh, stringing to their grape. Then we have delicas. Delicas are the really popular shape for from Mayuki. They are cylindrical beads and we've got those in a couple different sizes as well. Uh, we do have eight aught uh, delicas so those are a little bit bigger and you can see they are cylindrical in shape. And then we have the very popular 11 aught delica seed beads. Um, so this is the, this one is used a lot in brick stitch, peyote stitch patterns, and the, um, the Delica colors are really popular. And something to note, um, we do use the color codes that come from Miyuki, um, on our website for our Miyuki, uh, seed beads. So if you're looking for a certain color code, you can type that into the search bar and um, it will come up if it's available because we do um, use their color codes to keep it consistent so they're easy to find because um, their codes are tied to color uh, so you can easily find them and list them if you're you know selling patterns or sharing patterns so um, that's the 8 dot delica 11 dot delica they do also have 15 aught delicas again that that tiny size. Let's see if I can pick one up here. I've got this really pretty like glistening snow color here. So tiny, tiny little 15 aught delicas as well. Um, really great for uh, peyote bezels if you're cinching up those bezels. Um, if you want to take a 8 aught or 11 aught pattern and size it down, you can do that with the 15 aughts. Um, very, just another good option for you. They also have square cut seed beads. Let's pick up a few of these. So these are just cube shaped seed beads. You can see they have uh, four sides. So add a little bit of texture to your designs and the stringing hole just uh, runs right through. So nice. So the square cut is fun. Then they have hex cut. They have hex cut in 8 aught and 15 aught. So this is the um, 8 aught hex cut. So this bead has six sides. You can see it's kind of hexagon shaped there. This one is really shiny and really uh, fun texture thanks to all the sides. And we also have um, 15 aught hex cuts. So you can just see the, the size difference in those. The 15 aught hex cuts, are, hex cuts are so small. But again, they shine and gleam uh, so nicely because of um, all of those sides on the bead. Just look at that. Glittery. So pretty. 
Then we've got the um, Baroque pearl beads. These are really fun. Uh, these are really fun beads. They're kind of like a rondelle shape, and then they've got this kind of textured pearl uh, surface. So really fun just to add. Um, these kind of look vintage to me. They look like old world antique kind of beads. So I really love the look of these. Um, super fun. What size beads for a beginner? Adot. Adot is a good one to start with for size um, if you're just starting out. Um, you could start with six aught. Those um, those are great for stringing, but ADOT, if you're wanting to get into bead weaving, is a good uh, size to start to begin with because it is that smaller size, but a little bit um, a little bit bigger than those tiny 11 aughts and 15s. So start with ADOT if you're wanting to do some more bead weaving and you're just starting out. Uh, Miyuki also has berry beads. These are really fun. They're kind of like drop-shaped beads, little berries. So the stringing hole is at the top. And then they just have that fun little drop shape. These are good for um, adding like just tiny little fringe, maybe some uh, dimension in your bead embroidery. Uh, Kumihimo, these would look really cool because they'd make kind of that fun clustered drop look. So, so pretty. We've got bugle beads. Bugle beads are these fun um, tube-shaped beads. These are really great for fringe, um, dangling fringe earrings. Those are really fun. Super nice. So we love the bugle beads. Uh, and then these little guys are having quite the moment right now. Miyuki Tila beads. Tila beads are super popular right now, especially in summer jewelry. They are square or tile-shaped beads. They've got two stringing holes running through um so one on this side and another on the other side um lots of fun jewelry being made with these uh for summer right now and then we also have half tila beads so the half tila beads are rectangle beads that are half the size of the tila beads so they work um really well together stacked and layered uh, so you can see how nice those look together super fun. I love this kind of coral color too. And then we have long Megatama beads. So these are really cool. They're kind of petal shaped almost or scaly. They're kind of scaly, maybe like dragon scales. So these are really fun. They'll add some fringe. Again, this is a good one for Kumihimo. So great. So lots of fun shapes to choose from the Miyuki seed beads. And I do have some jewelry examples for you as well. Some pretty jewelry made with Miyuki beads. So like I said, the Tila beads are having a moment. Super popular right now. Um, I've used them in this multi-strand piece along with some rounds and bicones. And I put some demi rounds in there as well. But they, they really joined up all those strands together nicely. It's kind of like a, a mosaic pattern. Oh, I love that. So pretty. It's like river. Um, this is a very popular style right now. Just simple, sweet little bracelets where you stack the, um, the tila and half tila colors together. This is just a simple little string bracelet that's adjustable. It slides so you can easily wear it. Um, so this is super popular right now. And then I also made um, some earrings with these guys. Love these earrings. They look like Egyptian queen earrings. Fun colors. Super simple to make. Um, and then we have some great symbol findings that work with the tilas really nicely too. And so I used those to make these little these little patchwork earrings. So these are all in our design studio. You can find um, free instructions and supplies lists. This one is not in our design studio, but I found it um, just kind of laying around. <laughs> laying around our offices. You never know what kind of jewelry you're going to find around here. We have some really pretty pieces. So I just found this one and I thought it was such a pretty idea. It's just a wrap bracelet made with a triple stack of tilas between leather. Um, so simple wrap bracelet techniques with those tilas looks really beautiful. I mean, that's that's gorgeous. I love that. So um, that's a great idea for using them as well. Um, here's some ideas for the delicas. Delicas are great for bead weaving, bead looming, but they're also good for those fun little uh, string bracelets that you can stack too. So that's um, what we did here. They're just 
strung onto griffin silk cord on these adjustable little stacking bracelets. And this pattern is actually uh, a little Morse code message. So um, the pattern of the beads represents the dots and dashes of Morse code. So you can spell out a little secret message in your bracelet. So you can like spell out your friend's names, your mom's name, maybe like uh, your pet's name or something. So cute. Yeah, uh, berry beads can also be called drop beads. I think they call them um, drop fringe too. Um, so all kinds of different ways you can use your seed beads. Here's a loomed piece made with Delica's um, fun colors and a really cool, this is like a, a 1970s pattern to me, super fun. Far out, so fun. And this this kind of style is definitely making a comeback right now. Those, those uh, blocked colors and those very mod patterns. This is, this is having a moment right now too. <laughs> This is a great piece that kind of combines all kinds of different Miyuki beads. You've got rounds, uh, there's some hex cut beads in there, and the square cut beads, and even those half tilas in the center. Um, and this is the herringbone stitch that was used to make this bracelet. And oh my goodness, this looks like Caesar himself could wear it. <laughs> very regal regal colors so beautiful I just love this piece um, gorgeous and you can see those hex beads really add um, a nice shine a nice gleam to it so pretty this is another one that uses uh, some different shapes and sizes you've got rounds and then you've got those a dot delicas in there too for some bold bolder texture so pretty i love this another herringbone piece pretty this is a great example of how to use those bugles in your fringe earrings uh, love these earrings love wearing them uh, so you can see the bugles really do add length to the fringe along with the regular seed beads so those are some fun brick stitch earrings with pretty fringe love those earrings you could do these in all kinds of different colors and the result would be so different based on what colors you use but these are some fun bold dark colors love those <laughs> super fun and then this is a great example of those uh, megatama beads this is a kumihimo braid and just take a look at the texture on this one so pretty isn't that fun i love how these look in uh kumihimo this actually this matches my shirt really well. <laughs> so pretty. Um, gorgeous. This is another one. That, um, I don't think it's in our design studio, but I did find it in our stash of jewelry. <laughs> really pretty. I liked the color blocked look. We do have the pattern for the earrings, Karen. Most of what you see here is in our design studio with patterns, free instructions, and supplies lists. Uh, the only pieces that I do not have on the design studio are these guys. Um, I think they're from our archives. I, I found them. Uh, but they're really great examples of how to use uh, those Nagatamas and Kumihimo and how to use those Tila's in a simple wrap bracelet. Yeah, they do look like dragon scales. We do have a great Kumihimo Magatama piece in our design studio that I believe I have linked. Um, Cynthia made it with all kinds of different colors of Magatamas. It's a Kumihimo braid just like this. Um, but they kind of look like Christmas lights because of all the different colors that she used. It's a really pretty piece, so check that one out. That one is in our design studio, but I don't have it here today, but it's really pretty. Um, and then here's another um, example of those 11 aught Miyuki Delicas. Just a simple little herringbone pendant with little forget-me-nots stitched on top of the herringbone piece so cute so you can see how how uniform and uh, nicely stacked up that those delicas can be so nice really great for brick stitch too i have lots of delicas at home in lots of colors <laughs> they're so fun so though that's some inspiration for using some of our miyuki beads we have all kinds of different uh shapes and sizes and colors of course beautiful colors to choose from uh, so i thought i would just explain those uh, because we've got some really great options for those miyuki seed beads <laughs> 